now that it's warm enough to swim. Have you noticed even on hot days the water is much cooler? Well, there's a reason behind this. Storm Team 10's Chris Piper joins us now live to explain. Susie, I'm here at the Deming Park pool, and when it comes to the summertime, it always seems like you have to do a lot to keep your pool right at that perfect temperature. There is a reason for this. Whether it's an ocean, a lake, or a pool, water is very reflective. When you think about being by the lake or the pool, the sunshine is usually reflecting right off of the water, so you're almost always having to put the sunglasses on. Again, because the sun reflects right off the water, so it's very reflective, doesn't really absorb a lot of that heat that the sun puts off on the these hot summer days. Another reason is color. Water tends to be a lighter color than the land around it. You can see the pool back here is a nice blue. The grass I'm standing in right now is a darker green color. So then that just comes to basic science. Darker colors absorb heat better. Lighter colors reflect heat more. Now, coming up at six, I'll dive a little bit more into this. Plus, I'll tell you just how much more it takes to heat water to get it to the same temperature as some of the land that you might see around you. For now, reporting live in Dimming Park, Chris Piper, Storm Team 10.